Making the move from face-to-face -face sessions to presenting in an online environment can be fun, but also daunting. Fortunately, there are a lot of resources available to help presenters with the transition, including Contact North, Contact North's host training resources provided on our portals. In this video, we consider a few specific situations that you may encounter within your own sessions. With the use of online technology, classroom settings can vary. You may have a session with participants in the room with you and participants online in other locations. You could have some participants logged in individually and some logged in as a group using one computer. Participants can attend from either their computers or mobile devices. During all sessions that include online participation, you should immediately establish the protocol that everyone, including yourself, always uses a microphone, even for initial greetings and social exchanges by in-room participants with you and each other. In-room comments or questions should be made using a microphone as well. Otherwise, online participants don't hear any audio, yet often realize there is a discussion that is excluding them. Throughout the session, instruct participants to first state their name whenever using their microphone. It's not always possible or easy to identify who is speaking. And you should call on individuals by name when possible and ensure that everyone has the opportunity to participate. At the beginning of the session, check the attendees pod to see if any participants are using a mobile device, as some tools and options may not be available to them. If using a webcam, look into the camera lens occasionally as a way to make eye contact with and include online participants. Encourage participants to use more than one word responses, since microphone usage can sometimes clip the words at the front or back end of an audio transmission. Check often that online participants have heard questions or comments made by in-room participants and repeat these if necessary. When your session has a combination of participants in the room with you and participants online in other locations, be aware that only those in the room have immediate and direct access to you. The following presenter tips will ensure equal access and interaction for all participants. If space allows, consider leading your session from a room different than your in-room participants, thus giving everyone equal access. Always use the microphone when you speak, even when you are speaking to in-room participants only. If extra microphones are not available in the room, be sure to repeat any questions or comments through your microphone. Alternate taking or asking questions between in-room and online participants. For participants in the room with you who are not logged in at individual computers, consider projecting your screen so that they can see communication icons used by those online. But be sure to inform all participants that text chat messages sent to presenters can be viewed by in-class participants. When appropriate, hold regular online office hours and discussion times for all your participants. You may also have participants logged in individually and participants logged in as a group using one computer and one login ID. The online classroom conveniently shows display names of attendees in the attendees pod. However, if a group of participants log in using one login ID from a common location, only the name of that location will be displayed. Handling questions and planning for interactivity in your session should be an extra consideration in these situations. The following tips can help these invisible participants have more of a presence in the session. Prepare a slide listing the first name of all participants, indicating who is in a group login ID and where the group is located. You can then show the slide when a discussion is underway. When possible, have participants in each location introduce themselves individually, taking turns using the microphone. Assign one participant in each location to be the group's representative at the microphone, relaying questions or passing the microphone around, displaying communication icons for the group, and adding text chat messages. Follow a deliberate rotation for soliciting feedback from each member of the group. If using breakout rooms, consider how you will set up the tool when a group is attending through one login ID. If using the poll tool, consider that a group login is not able to answer as individuals. 
With online classroom technology available on mobile devices, tablets and smartphones, as well as by computer and laptop, participants and presenters have access to varying tools and options. It is important to know the differences and plan ahead to interact with participants using the mobile option. You can check in the attendee pod for those participants attending the session from a mobile device. Mobile users can typically see PowerPoint content, app shares, whiteboards, vote in surveys, and be a breakout room participant. Depending on their connection, there may however be more of a time lag for mobile users. While providing great flexibility, the mobile option does have some limitations. Tablet users will have access to markup or draw tools, but smartphone users will not. Instead, encourage those participants to contribute by microphone or through text chat. Mobile users can broadcast their webcam video, but will only see other webcams one at a time. Mobile users cannot tap on an embedded link nor a link pasted into a chat message. So consider providing these types of resources ahead of time outside of the session. Try out these strategies in your next online session to ensure all of your participants get the most out of their classroom experience. Additional instructor training resources are available at these links on our portals.